so guys in today's video we are going to see about water act so it is 1974 so coming to this uh, water act uh, you you may get question in different different ways like discuss about water act or explain water prevention control of pollution act discuss pre briefly about the provision of the water prevention and control of pollution act so uh, they'll not just give you like this water act it is water prevent in brackets prevention and control of pollution so sometimes they won't mention water as well write about prevention and control of pollution act so like that so make sure that you read the name of the act and the year of the act clearly and now let's see the water and prevention uh, control of the pollution act 1974 it was started by the parliament under article 48 a of indian constitution and this act is a comprehensive legislation dealing with the preservation of the water quality it's about total complete water okay and the control of the water pollution this consists of the 64 sections distributed in the eight chapters okay remember these sections and chapters and uh, now let's see important provisions of the water act so according to the section 2 of water act water pollution is described as such as contamination of water or water alteration of physical chemical biological properties of water or discharge of any sewage or trade effluent or any other liquid gaseous or solid substance into the water so this release of the substances can be with uh, directly or indirectly into the water as uh, it depends upon the use and this main objective of the act is to establish state and central pollution control boards and uh, empower them to make necessary legal action against anyone or uh, any body responsible for pollution of the water bodies like lakes streams inland waters underground waters sea water etc so the main thing in this act is you have to write about the state boards and the central boards okay in this water act this uh, plays a major role and now let's see the power of the boards they have state and central right the central pollution of the control board is committed to follow the guidelines which are laid by the central government and for the state it's state government okay and now let's see first central government functions and powers so they have appraised the central government on the issues regarding the prevention and control of pollution organize the activities of the state boards and deal with work out or uh, contrivances among them and the central board act as a state board and exercises the powers and performs the functions of the union territories and the central government may direct the central board to appoint a person or body of persons to exercise its powers or perform its functions for a particular union territory and the central board arranges for technical support and guides the state boards encourages and sponsors research related activities regarding the prevention control or abatement of the water pollution so uh you you can just uh, directly write this points there is nothing to explain you have to make sure that you understand those points because uh, they are just single uh sentences kind of thing so you have to just uh, see what is what and then if the state board fails to perform its duties as per the guidelines which are laid by the government central government the central board will be direct uh, may be directed to perform the functions of the state board okay and now let's see some functions of the state board still now we have seen about the central board powers and its functions and now state board its functions and uh, here i have uh, listed few state board uh, functions and uh, you can just uh, read them normally and you can just write them also in detail and then we have uh, all these are state board functions uh, uh, as i I mentioned earlier there's nothing to explain in this points you have to just to go through them in detail if you have any doubts uh, regarding these points you can just uh, comment uh, in this video i'll explain again with the other video okay and uh, for the penalties like those who are not complying with the standard conditions for them imprisonment up to 3 months and then fine of 10000 or sometimes both for example if the person or any team or anyone is uh, seriously violating the laws for them it's 7 years imprisonment and then 5000 per day okay not uh, for the term or thing per day and uh, also uh, guys if you need any uh, topics to be explained 
please uh, mention them in the comment comment section so that uh, i'll make videos on them because after this acts and uh, we'll be left with only few more uh, topics so uh, that's why i'm asking you to mention whatever questions you want okay thank you